What's up everybody, it's the Kind of Collector again. Hope you're having an awesome weekend. In this episode, I wanna break down some of the custom figures for the 3.75 inch, you know, vintage Kenner style. I have amassed, you know, hundreds of these over the years working with various, you know, 3D printing artists, um, people who do amazing paint jobs like Keepers Customs and Ouroboros Customs. So I'm just gonna showcase 10 more of these today. Let's go check out these amazing figures right now. Here's the first custom I wanted to feature. This is the final duel Luke Skywalker from the Return of the Jedi with a translucent lightsaber, amazing head sculpt. Paint job on this is second to none as well. And my favorite piece is this folded over gray part from his jacket that we all saw during the final duel scene. And you can make this figure um, a couple of different ways using the vintage, you know, old school Kenner figures, swapping the Jedi Luke head onto it, different body. But this was a total custom made to recreate this figure and, you know, it came out amazing. So let's move on to the next figure, which is Walrus Man. And uh, he's got an amazing little feature here. So we all remember the cantina scene. So you can actually chop his arm off. <laughs> so it's got a magnet on the inside of the arm and another magnet here on the other side of the arm. And it just snaps right back together. You just gotta line it up right. So this is an awesome custom walrus man. Next we have a custom Hoth Rebel Soldier. This is just more of a, a you know movie accurate type paint scheme paint job on him. You can see the the gray legs, the gray boots, the gray hands, gloves, which is really sweet. You can see the back of him here with the backpack. So just a really cool one to add to you know any Hoth scenes you know to your custom collection. Then next. We have one of my favorite figures, the Ice Cream Man himself, Will Rowe Hood. <laughs> this guy's awesome. Just got this uh, in the mail a couple days ago. He's uh, carrying Lando's safe right here, full of uh, his Rolex watches, whatever else is in there, trying to get the hell out of you know, Cloud City before it all goes down. So you can see he's got a little bit of a belly on him. I love the uh, the chrome paint right there. See the back side. It's just an awesome sculpt and design here. Amazing paint job. Love this figure. Next we have a custom Tuscan Chieftain Raider. This is a, a concept that I designed and basically this is a, a 3D custom printed figure with an old school Kenner uh, sand people, sand person head, <laughs> and uh, love how this came out. You can't have enough Tuscan Raiders in your collection, so to add this chieftain is, you know, just super awesome. Um, next figure here, this is a custom Endor General Leia, and you can see the the different paint scheme, the the green jacket and her blaster that fits into the pouch um, or her holster right there. Had to get a uh, repro belt to make this figure, a uh, repro you know, blaster as well, but she came out amazing. Another awesome Endor figure to add. And no cantina scene is complete without the Mantis, also known as Katik Keetkak. This is an awesome cantina patron that we all remember from that scene. This is a custom printed figure. Again, amazing paint job on him. And his arms move, they swivel, his head moves as well. Love this, always wanted this figure. Um, finally found a you know good, good person that designed it and made it, had it painted up. So let's check out the next custom here. 
which is our Imperial Weapons Technician. And there's a couple of different people that make these. This one um, is my favorite. And if you have any questions on who makes these, how you can get these, the designers, you know, people to paint them up, just uh, message me over at Instagram, the Kenner Collector over there, and I'll be happy to point you guys in the right direction. So this one's got amazing sculpt. It's got the uh, Imperial Tech uh, head sculpt, which is really cool. Different than the Imperial Gunner a little bit and comes with a similar gun as the Imperial Gunner, but another awesome addition to you know anybody's collection. We didn't see these guys a whole lot in the film, but I thought they looked super cool. And that's a wrap on this episode. Thanks again for tuning in. I really appreciate the support. Throw a like on this. It helps the channel. And have a great rest of your weekend. And remember to collect the counter.